it's my birthday! Today is my birthday and I am getting older and smarter and grayer. Should I be excited if I'm getting older? I don't know. <laughs> of course I should. Today is the day I was born blank blank years ago. Feel free to guess down below how old you think I'm turning, but if you saw my Q&A video then you probably already know. But either way, this should be fun. So a giant happy birthday to me, of course, as well as everyone else out there in the world who is celebrating with me today. Anyways, today's video is just a bonus video. It's not really a review of anything. Not that I am aware of anyways, because I'll be opening fan mail and little gifts because some people knew my birthday was coming and others just wanted to send me stuff. So guess what? I've decided their gifts regardless. Thank you. And I will also be opening the present I bought myself because there was a bee on it. But before we do that, I am just going to quickly point out that these are not my correct everyday glasses. And if you're wondering what happened to them, they broke very, very sadly and tragically randomly on the bridge of my nose as I was removing a dandelion fluff. I don't know. It was pure magic. I was going to Harry Potter them together, but I don't think I could pull off that look so fingers crossed they can fix them for me otherwise you might be seeing these puppies for a while moving on I've got me some scissors and I've got me some packages hold on they're still coming and I'm ready to go I should probably put them down <laughs> Let's try to be serious here. After all, we are blank years old and sophisticated now. I'm gonna start with this one first, and it was sent to me by Bridget in the United Kingdom, so thank you. Spoiler alert, I love all of you guys with an immense portion of my heart that you wouldn't even know existed, so gifts are never required, but I do appreciate that you took the time to send this to me, so thank you. While I open this, I'm just gonna talk to you about my day. So, um, I had fun. Yep, <laughs> that, that was pretty much it. How is yours? Hopefully great too. <laughs> All right, I peeled off the tape and now I'm just going to go ahead and peel the top of the box because there's a tear strip. She found a box with a tear strip. Whoop, ready, what's in there? Oh, is that an envelope? Oh, that's pretty cute, hold on. It's a little hard to see, but on this side it says there's a wand inside. Oh, I got a paper cut. Oh, there's a little lion. Here we go. My nail chipped, that's okay. I got a purple and teal little star wand. And then there's a little letter and it looks like it's on an elephant. How cute is that? Why do we have boring envelopes in Canada? Get your game together. All right, there's a letter here and I'm just gonna read it. Hopefully it's not personal. It says, hey Jen, thank you very much for making your lovely videos. They have brought me much joy. For all the childlike wonder you've brought back in me, I have made you into the magical girl you are. Lots of love from Bridget the human and Marcos the cat. Thanks Bridget. Moving on. So I'm not gonna lie, I did know that this person made something and tagged me on Instagram and it was super, super cute. I also knew that she wanted to send it to me but I definitely didn't expect her to and I honestly can't believe that she actually did. That was honestly such a really nice gesture and the fact that it came in time for my birthday, like I am beyond words, really. And I'm super excited to see it in person. So let's do this together. This box is like falling apart now that I took off all the tape. Bubble wrap, then some big bubble wrap. A little fabric bee. It's like neon yellow and brown. Look at those big giant eyes. And then, oh, okay, I'm gonna open this for you guys because I've technically already seen it. So let's try very carefully not to damage it. I'm so nervous sighted. Oh, she broke a little, but don't worry. I'll give her a quick fix and wrap her back up like it never even happened. Oh my gosh, check this out. Oh, it's so much cuter in person. <gasps> How beautiful is that? Somebody made that, guys. Like, what? I am so not talented. She's gorgeous. Let's give her her little wand. And guess what? <laughs> she rides a bubble bee. Oh, I love it so, so much. Thanks, Bridget. This is the cutest thing. I'll take some pictures of it after so that you guys can see it too. Her power is anything that defends the cute bees as long as they don't sting me. If you guys wanna see more pictures of this, I'll make sure to share some to my Instagram, Twitter, and my community tab. Ooh, she's just so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna put her down carefully and move on. Ta Ow! <laughs> Even the hipster glasses can't prevent my pain. Say la vie. Next, we're gonna move on to this little package. And by the way, as much as I love and appreciate these, I definitely love receiving all the messages and pictures that you guys send or tag me in. So do not think that you have to send me anything. That is never a requirement for my love and adoration because I love and adore you all. You guys are phenomenal. And if you guys are ever interested in seeing some of the pictures that were made for me, I often share them on my Instagram. So check them out there. But back to this, here we go. Inside there is some red tissue paper. Nope, it's an envelope. Red and white polka dotted, not tissue paper. It's an envelope. <laughs> Check it out. 
Someone sent me a magical move in Polly. Now, you'll notice she is missing a hand, but if you've seen my magical move in Polly playset video, you know I can fix it. He's so cute. This little one here is a tricky one to find, so thank you. Also, you may have noticed I didn't share this person's name, but that's because it wasn't on the box. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. A whole bunch of little craft wooden bees. You guys, you guys are so funny. Let's see if we can make my glasses better. Hold on. Okay, this might end up bad because I can't see without my glasses, so this could be a problem. What? They need to make glasses that have bees on them. This is so cute. Just wait. I found a crooked one. Hold on. She's crooked. Okay, this just got better. We have to restart the video. Ready? Hey, bee buds! I think I'm gonna leave them there. Okay, those are super cute. I'm gonna stick bees on everything. My family better be concerned. <laughs> Moving on, what else is in there? I'm gonna see some stuff. Oh, what? A bee necklace, and it was handmade with love. And another bee necklace, also handmade with love. Guys, which one do I wear? Which one do I wear? Do I have to choose? Can I make both? I don't wanna ruin the sticker. They're handmade with love. Okay, I'm gonna open it from the top because I don't wanna peel the sticker because I'm super sentimental like that. Oh, it's long. You know what, I'm just gonna wear them both. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna wear this all day. When I make my bee video, I'm gonna wear it then too. It's so pretty. Thank you. I feel overwhelmed right now. Why are you people so kind to me? Ooh, this one's a big bee. He's a big beefy boy. I'm gonna call him beefy. I don't know if that's clay or resin. They look really lifelike. Watch, I'm gonna go to the park and forget I'm wearing this. I'm gonna look down and have a panic attack because there's a bee on my body. But uh, I don't care. I'm just here beeing myself. <laughs> That was everything that came inside that little package and I'm overwhelmed. That was so cute. Thank you. You know I'm saving those. <laughs> and those. I'm just gonna tidy this stuff up and move on to the next package. But first I gotta put away Polly. She's gonna go in my Polly trunk. Oh, by the way, I have a Polly trunk. On this side is all my Polly's. On this side is all her like animals or accessories and a bunch of other things. I still owe you guys a Polly video, I know. I've just been so busy, but uh, Here's a little quick one. I got a blue one, and a pink one, and a purple one, and a pink one, and a light purple one, and a yellow one. And there's the party surprise. It's my birthday, maybe we should open that up again. Surprise! And then a color faded pink one. Just wait, that video, it will come eventually. And I gotta get them all fitting back in there somehow. Oh, and then you can take off the top layer. And underneath there's more! Where's my Pokemon one? Look at that. And here's Betty's Club, this is a fake. Mmm, is that some foreshadowing? Maybe. Polly is safely tucked away. Now we can move on. Okay, this one here is from Sam in Hiratsuka. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but I believe it's Japan. Don't quote me. This is heavily taped. Just be patient. Decided I'm just gonna butcher the box. Sam, I applaud your effort to keep this parcel safe for me. That is, oh my gosh! The, scissor, the scissors aren't doing their job. You did a really good job. Let's see if I can just hulk it out. I can't tell if Sam is really good with tape or Japan just offers much better tape than Canada. Oh, that was not an attractive face. I'm just going for it. Ow. My nails started off really pretty, guys. Just doesn't look like it anymore. It's happening, folks. Okay, we've got some stuff in here. I think we're gonna have to do this one at a time, guys. Pokemon collection, oh my goodness, isn't that the cutest bag you've ever seen? Oh, Canadian Ziplocs are failing. This birthday video is quickly turning into a video about how Canada is lacking in stuff. I just gotta take a quick selfie. Mm. All right, back to you guys. This is super, super cute. I'm about to check it out. I'm not gonna pretend that I can read anything in Japanese, but I believe these are basically like the coin slot machine capsule things. I wanna say that they're gachapon. I don't know, and I'm probably gonna be wrong, so let me just Google that. What is gachapon? A variety of vending machine dispensed capsule toys popular in Japan, woo! I was right. Look at me knowing stuff. See, it's because I'm wiser at the age of <laughs> So let's go ahead and check it out. I wanna go Japan so bad. Thanks. 
And on the back, there's a little letter. It says, I'm so glad we could talk. Hope you're getting better. That cold sounded rough. I hope you enjoy the package from Sam. I told you guys, when you send me messages, I totally respond. And uh, yeah, so if you ever wondered if I'd respond, the answer is yes. And here we go. Oh my goodness. They're like little Polly Pockets. <gasps> She's so cute. I just, oh my gosh. This is gonna be the weirdest angle. How are you gonna get us both in here? Okay, I don't wanna say the wrong things. If you're in Japan, is it a kimono? I, d I gotta Google it, hold on. The kimono is a traditional dress? Yes, it is. All right, I don't wanna seem ignorant if I get it wrong, but I'm pretty sure she's wearing a kimono. If not, I apologize. But according to Google, they do still traditionally wear kimonos in Japan. So that's what I'm going with. We've got a little figure with blue hair and a light pink kimono, and it has a big yellow bow on the back. Now I'm gonna open up my first ever gachapon toy. It is all red with a gold picture on the front, and basically it's shaped like a flower. It pops open. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I have no clue what it is, but it's cute. There's little accessories inside. Kinda seems a little bit like a lamp. It's white and pink. Maybe that's what it is. Now I've popped it out. It looks like we have a little white table with a pink tablecloth, little biscuits and blue cups on top. Maybe they're candles, who knows? And then a few translucent gobstopper shaped things around the side in green, yellow, and red. And then down here there's a pink little table with a translucent little blue TV. And then there was a little spot for that little lamp or whatever it was, so I popped it in. There's little cutout spots on either side of the table where our little figure's legs can slide right in. Ah, I dropped something. Ah, I dropped both somethings. This is hard to do when you're not at the table. Let's try this again, folks. There you go. How cute is that? This is so adorable. Thank you, Sam. Look, and there's a little cutout spot for her to stand up too. I wonder if this will be compatible with Polly Pocket. If only I had some to try it out. Now I'm super excited because there's two more of those. This time my figure has blonde hair and it's in a bun on top of her head and the kimono is pink and blue. The container is the same as the first one, <gasps> but the inside's different. Ooh, and now I know it pops out, so let me just do that. The scene looks like an underwater kitchen because there are little seashell chairs at a table, but then it also looks like a food scene because there are giant blueberries and orange wedges and whatever that is. And then there's a small yellow table in the center with a bowl filled with water, I'm assuming. And then this random little dollop of whipped cream. And now let's put our doll right there. She's feeling overwhelmed by that mountain of whipped cream. <gasps> oh, this is so exciting. All right, time for the last one. Oh, it might be a devil. The doll is the same as the first one we got. So she's got short blue hair with a pink kimono and a yellow bow. And yes. The scene inside is the exact same. I'm so excited right now. I've never seen these before. I have to make sure I check to see if those are compatible with my polys. And to save this bag. I'm a little hyper right now, guys. We gotta keep going. Is that a pick me pop? It is. <gasps> a pick me pop from Japan. Is it gonna be any different than a pick me pop from Canada? Not gonna lie, I can't tell you a single thing about this because I can't read Japanese and I also don't know the price there. And uh, it was a gift, so it's not a full review. I don't smell anything through the package though. The bottom is blue and the top is clear. And inside, we've got our little envelope. On the back, it's a cute little thingy. Can't tell, looks kinda like a squirrel that's pink. And inside, it looks like it's raspberry. And not gonna lie, this checklist is basically useless to me. Only because, as mentioned, I can't read Japanese. Wish I could, totally can't. But these characters are super cute. <laughs> this is the best birthday ever. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, definitely not a squirrel. Definitely still don't know what it is, but check it out. It is so, so cute. It's got animal print all over it in blue and yellow and pink. It's got pink little feet, arms and ears and a white dipped tail. And this part of the body is light pink. Going in for the close up, the stitching looks really nice and it's sticking its tongue out at me. <laughs> and it does smell like raspberries. <sighs> Moving on, Sam, you sent me way too much. Oh my goodness. Is this more gachapon stuff or is this just random stuff that you sent? I don't know why I'm asking you. You can't answer right now. But if you watch this, send me a message and tell me because I'd like to know. Because this is really, really cute. This bag says we are party people and there are dancing figures all over it and they're like, yes! <sighs> it's in there. Oh, they're little see-through cars. They kind of look like gummy candies. And I'm not gonna lie, these are really, really pretty. I know that sounds strange, but they're very reflective and shiny. I'm probably gonna glue on some magnets so I can use them on my fridge or my whiteboard. So that one is red. This one is purple. Ew! This one is green, and the only reason I said ew is there is a dead fruit fly embedded in the plastic. Like, it doesn't come off. It's legitimately in there. That one is a little less cute, but things happen. <laughs> and lastly, there's a pink gem in there too. There we go. 
Put those back in the bag so I don't lose them. And let's not forget, we are party people. Moving on to the next one. Oh, there's another bag. Ooh, that one is so pretty. This one says, you love me? And it's got some watermelons on the bottom. Inside there, ah, dropping stuff. Inside there are two more pink gem hearts and three more cars. Are they cars or are they little vans? I don't know. This time we've got a blue one. Check for any more dead flies. I see none. And this one's definitely orange. It shows up really orange on the camera, but in person it's like a very pale hot pink. I don't even know how to describe it. It's probably just reflecting my nails to be honest, but it's kind of cool. And then there's one more purple one. Moving on, I see a box in there. Ooh, the glue came undone, but that is so cute already. I'm gonna love it. No way! Oh my gosh, there's quite a bit in here. Oh, this is adorable. Looks like we're gonna be able to cut out the pictures on the back to make like a little menu. I don't think I'm gonna open this right now because I know I'm gonna lose something. I've got so many things on this table and it will break my heart, but I'll just show you. There's a little brown tray, a silver little cookie pan. There's two little puff pastries. Looks like custard and blueberries with mint leaves on one and custard and strawberries on the other. And then I have no clue what this pastry is, but it looks like a light pink sponge taco with cream in the center and strawberries on top. And then over here, we've got some gold tongs and what I think are little menu or place card holders for a table. And and this one here has a little brown paper bag and stickers so that we can package up our baked goods as well as this little card here which will go inside the basket like a little decorative cloth. And then when it's all assembled and in display form, it will look like this. Sam, you just get me. <laughs> Maybe I can add this to one of my little DIY craft sets so that I have some actual food and stuff to put on the tables. We are nearing the end of the bottomless gift. No wonder she wrapped it so well. She didn't want anything to get lost. Oh, it's another little mini set. Look at this. Oh my gosh, you outdid yourself. Oh, there's quite a bit in this one. Looks like it's a little wooden table with a rice cooker and then a completed meal. And then once again on the back, there's stuff that we can cut out to help create the scene. And then on the inside, we can see what this room would look like if you collected all the sets so that it's complete. I'm gonna do the same thing again, guys, I'm sorry, but this video would take forever and I would lose things otherwise. So we have a round little wooden table and then a blue and silver rice cooker. And then you can kind of see it falling out there, but there is a mound of rice. And then this last section here, which is a little hard to see, has some soy sauce, chopsticks, a rice spoon. That's what I've always called it. There's probably a real name for it, but I don't know it. And then a pile of cooked rice to put in the bowl, as well as a personal serving bowl. This is so exciting. Now I'm gonna tidy up this stuff because I don't wanna lose it. And then I'm gonna move on to my next package. Here we go. This one here is from D in Toronto. So thank you, D. Look at that, Canadian tape, it just comes off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's true, but I'm just kidding. Except off of me. A letter, don't peek. Oh wow, that is a lot of words. Thanks so much for the conversation last night. To be quite honest, I'm still fangirling. Aw, uh, I'm gonna skip some of this because that was our conversation. And sum up with thank you for your channel. As a resource teacher, I use your videos as a tool to determine the purchase of specific toys or learn about them. Thank you so much. No, thank you. I actually really enjoyed that conversation and um, only you know how much you helped me, so thank you. Moving on. <gasps> no way. <gasps> That's a Polly Pocket right there. Guys, 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 guys. Are you listening? Are you looking? Are you looking? That is a Polly Pocket. And guess what? Mm, I'm gonna open it. <laughs> that means we can check out to see if the little Gachapon doll fits in here. But I guess I gotta show you too. It's like birthday surprise for everyone. So the top looks like it's brown, but really it is a purple compact. This is just color change from years of existing, really. Here we go. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. <gasps> guys, I don't have this one. Ah, I don't have this one, I don't have this one. Let me just look at it, hold on. You just, just tell that. There's a little teal double door fridge. Oh my goodness. <gasps> There's a TV and it looks like it used to change channels. <laughs> this is exciting. And a flip out couch. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. I'll do a quick tour. So we've got a little teal double door fridge here and there's different things inside which are yellow, purple, or white. Ooh la la. There's even a little water dispenser or something going on. We've got some cupboards and stuff on the shelves. We've got a little table with a purple 
purple and yellow chair. Looks like a little toaster and a coffee pot. Some more things on the shelves. And all those items are purple, yellow, pink, silver, or white. There's some yellow stairs leading down with pink curtains. And then there's a little sticker, so it looks like there's flowers outside and a bird flying. Very cute. Got a little potted plant there. And some blue wallpaper with yellow stripes and pink hearts. There's even a Polly doll. And guess what? She's got no arm. <laughs> down on the lower level, there is a section back here with a set of stairs leading to a teal door, which opens and closes. We've got a little pink table with a pink phone on it. On this table, there's either a yellow cake, pie, or pizza. There's a teal TV with some white books on top, and this little teal button here changes the program. Did it work? Yay, it worked! How cool is that? Down on the floor here, it looks like my life. Um, it looks like a bowl filled with donuts. Not gonna lie, it probably isn't, but it's funnier this way. Then we've got a pink and teal fold-out couch, and there's two spots so the friends could have a slumber party. There's a yellow round rug on the floor with some snacks on a plate and an open book, so they're getting their knowledge on. There's also some more pink books on the ground, and then like a purple beanbag type chair with some more snacks on a plate. Looks more like sandwiches than donuts this time. We've also got a teal fireplace with a purple fire inside, and some silver picture frames on top. Over here there's another pink shelf or cupboard type area with frames and fruit in a bowl and a little clock. And then behind the couch there's a little pink shelf with purple books. Let us continue on. There's a little bathtub in here. It's yellow and there's some purple and yellow items for it like shampoo, teddy bear, duck, and it looks like a mattress. What? No way. No way, no way, no way. <gasps> no way! Inside we've got a pink, purple, and white crib. It also rocks. And the little mattress which is totally a mattress, goes inside. And we have a pregnant Barbie, guys! I'm pretty sure this is Midge, but her hair looks really good. Oh my gosh, look at her little freckles. She's in amazing condition. Got articulated shoulders and elbows, but not wrists. And then, of course, she can move at her hip, and she's got that bend and snap knee, but nothing at the ankle. And it looks like she's missing one shoe, but that's okay, because we can get shoes anywhere. She's wearing a light purple dress with little purple and pink flowers all over, and if we raise it up, guys, she's actually got a removable belly in here, and it comes off really simply. It's magnetic. Boop! And inside, there's a little baby! So, truth be told, I actually have a fake version of a Barbie that has a baby in his belly, and uh, I'm gonna have to show it to you guys one day when I look at this a little bit more in depth. Look at that. It's both cute and creepy at the same time. Let me just show it to you. It's totally safe if it uh, falls around a bit. That's okay. I just noticed it actually does open. And there's a little yellow blanket in there. <gasps> and then inside the bag, as I pointed out, there's some bath stuff and such. There's a little baby book and a little birth certificate. Thank you so much, D from Toronto. Thank you. <laughs> in many, many ways. Thank you. Next, we're gonna check out my last thing, which is the gift I bought myself. But before I do, I almost forgot. We still need to find out if the little Gachapon dolls can be used inside the Polly Pockets. So here we go. They do! Can you tell I'm super excited for weird things? <laughs> Guys, thank you. Just thank you. And look how cute she looks in that little set. I feel like I've been so excited for like the last however long this video has been that my voice is changing. Is that a thing? I don't know. But now I'm just gonna tidy everything up so that we can open up my Squeezimals picnic pack. Okay guys, I am back and now I'm ready to finally open up my last gift, which of course was from me. Thanks Jen, you're welcome. This is a Squeezimals picnic pack. These are recommended for children over the age of three because, of course, they do contain small parts. Everyone is going to come with four exclusive characters, as well as a reusable package. In this case, a lunchbox. And now we're just going to open it up. So, it looks pretty easy. Seems like it's just one sticker on top. And now we just shimmy this little cardboard piece off. And I think that's it. Look how cute that is. It's basically a pastel park scene with a little sandwich, cherry, and a little blue and white cow with a cute little bee up top. To open it, we're just going to push down the little button and go. Oh, that's cute. Mmm, smells watermelony. Inside the lunchbox, it is just a striped yellow and pink and it says Squeezemals Picnic Pack. And then down here, there's a package that says Squeezemals. And there's a little sandwich and a carton of milk, which are so cute. And look, 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 look. There's a little bee, there's a little bee. <gasps> there's a little bee. And then on the back, there's a little package of gummy jubes. Let's do this, guys. It's lunchtime and I'm feeling a little hungry. Wouldn't it be great if I had an awesome little sandwich? <laughs> 
It's pretty big. It's legitimately the size of a sandwich. It says it's meat-free, dairy-free, soy-free, GMO-free, vegan-free, and wheat-free. But it's 100% delicious. Ooh, it smells like watermelon. Oh, it's so soft. Okay, guys, here's my sandwich. Thank you for choosing this sandwich. It proves that you have very good taste. All of our sandwiches are made fresh for you to savor every day. Please remove outer wrapper before enjoying. The ingredients are the creme de la creme of loveliness, conveniently packed and full of goodness to help you squeeze the most out of your day. Attention, there is a high level of cuteness and squeezability. Use as often as required. We've got ourselves a really cute sandwich with nice toasty crust up here. It's got brown eyes and a little brown smile and two pink cheeks. Oh, and little white star reflections in the eyes. The stitching looks really good too. Oh my gosh, there's cheese and bologna or ham or something on it. So this is slow rise, but because it's so thin, you can't really tell. So I'll try to do it sideways. It's still expanding even if it doesn't look like it. Oh, I love it. Time to put that away. Look at that convenient little package. Excellent, I'm gonna put it back in my lunchbox because this sandwich is never gonna be moldy. And now I'm feeling a little thirsty, so I think I need some milk. This is adorable. It's white, pink, and blue, and there's little Molly Moo cows all over it. It's got the same information on the side that was on the sandwich, so the ingredients and the attention, loveliness, cuteness factor is all there. Other than that, it just says open here. Um, but I don't wanna ruin it, so I'm gonna just cheat and go through the bottom. I mean, why put all that effort into it if somebody's not gonna save it, right? Oh, she's so cute. What does that smell like? It's still watermelon, but it kind of smells chocolatey. I don't know why. But anyways, look at my little moo cow. It said Molly Moo on the front, so I'm gonna assume that's her name. But basically, it's like a white pleather cow with blue eyes and a blue patch around one, as well as a softer patch to the side. It's also got a tan little snout there and pink cheeks, as well as blue horns, tail, and feet. Let's give it a squeeze. It's very pleathery. Which is kind of weird, without trying to sound too morbid, to make the cow feel like leather. I'm just saying. Now before I put it down, I'm just gonna check for the stitching, and it all looks fantastic, which I am so happy about. And I forgot to note that there are white star reflections, and the blue in the eyes was done with a metallic thread. So I'm gonna show you one more time, just in case that didn't come across. I don't know if you can tell or if it just looks shiny, but just take my word for it. <laughs> two down, two more to go. Enjoy this snack as part of your picnic pack with a tasty sandwich, some refreshing ice cold milk, and a pesky honeybee. <gasps> yes! This package is pink. It's got white flowers, green leaves, little barcode, and it says gummy jube jube, squeezy and fruity. So I really feel like since they're going with this whole picnic theme, they definitely should have made these things resealable because that would have been so cute and also would have helped preserve the freshness, aka the scent. Somebody suggested that I open it along the center seam so that way I could reseal it and nobody will see. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's done. Oh, it's metallic and shiny. Oh my goodness, how cute is that little cherry? It's like sticking its tongue out at us. So it's a mini squeeze em all It is very reflective and red and it's got bright green eyes with pink cheeks and a little tongue sticking out. I'm just gonna get it out of the way now and say that the stitching looks pretty great. And I am loving this little stem and leaf on top. And it feels leathery actually. And it's also attached pretty nicely. So hopefully it lasts quite a while. Let's give it a squish. <laughs> Mmm, smells really good. Is there something wrong with my face? Why are you staring? Don't do that, it's rude. I'm gonna put it back in here for now until I can figure out how to seal that. And now, move on to my very last snack. It's two different shades of gold and is patterned like a honeycomb. And then there's a super adorable bee on the front. Unfold. Oh my goodness. He's got a little bee butt. All right, here is my little honeybee. It is so cute. He's got bright blue eyes and pink cheeks and a little black smile. Let me just make sure it is perfect. I gotta make sure it's perfect, hold on. He's got little black cord antennae or antenna, as well as two shades of blue for his wings. He's got some black stripes and you can see that if you move your finger back and forth, it kind of exposes the fuzz underneath. So if I brush it down, it'll help it look a little bit more together. And then there's a little teeny black felt stinger. Smells so good. 
<laughs> I'm like so happy right now. The only thing that would make me happier is if I knew the names for these characters, honestly. I really don't see anything in the package that tells you what their names were, just that they were exclusive characters, other than Molly Moo. So until I find a name for my bee, uh, it's gonna need one. So go ahead and drop some suggestions down below. Otherwise, I'm just gonna call it my birthday bee butt. So you might wanna suggest something a little better. <laughs> Fly back into your lunchbox, little bee. And with that, we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you truly enjoyed spending my birthday with me because honestly, it was pretty great. And if you're one of the people that sent me some of these lovely little trinkets or sent me fan art or messages to help me celebrate, then from the bottom of my heart, I truly, truly appreciate it. And I wanna send out a giant heartfelt thank you to you. And if you are Jen who bought Jen a lovely picnic pack, well then thank you too. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> Ow! Almost. I almost made it through the video. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been doing very well lately. I haven't hit my elbow in like six videos, I think. Anyways, if you know somebody who would enjoy this video because, you know, they have birthdays, <laughs> then please share it with them. And if you enjoyed it yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite thing that I opened today, or are you like me and your favorite was everything. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!